Good morning, Monday is here yet again. <laughs> uh, I'm dying. <laughs> I have had seriously the busiest morning. I got my first work message at like 7.45 this morning. Now it's 10 a.m. and I have seriously been non-stop since then. But finally at a point where I can like take a little breather, go get a coffee, start the vlog, which is very nice. Um, also really quickly, I wanted to let you guys know, as I'm sure you've already realized, there's only gonna be four vlogs up this week because I just didn't feel like vlogging last Friday I just wanted to take the day off from it so yeah only four vlogs but if you're seeing this and you've already gone a day where you were supposed to have a vlog and nothing went up so there you go you're ready through it <laughs> so I want to go downstairs get a coffee and then I need to just continue on with work I'm hoping it won't be too crazy of a day but at this rate I am unconvinced <laughs> so we'll see <laughs> So I know I haven't checked in with you guys since I came back upstairs, but I sort of want another coffee. I finished this one like really quickly, so much quicker than usual. It made me feel really good, and so I want another. <laughs> so I think uh, I'm gonna head downstairs and refill again, which is such a pain. I forget if I cut this from the vlog or not, so I won't like talk about it a lot, but one of the elevators in my building is down. Yeah, I think I did keep this in the vlog. Anyway, one of them is down, so there's only one working and it makes it just a really long wait to get downstairs. And on top of that, since everyone has to use one elevator, the elevator is always really full, which doesn't feel great with COVID stuff. I mean, everyone always wears a mask, so that's good. But obviously on top of that, you're not really supposed to be in close vicinity with people. That car alarm. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Also, this is really funny. Someone sent me a lovely message letting me know that I look terrible in this sweatshirt. I don't really know how someone looks terrible in a sweatshirt, to be honest, you know, I mean, just as a pink tie-dye sweatshirt. But just because of that comment, it really just makes me want to wear it all the time because I'm a little shit like that. <laughs> so, uh, shout out to that person and shout out to this really freaking cute pink tie-dye sweatshirt. I don't know what you have against pink tie-dye, but <laughs> I'm going for it. <laughs> That took forever. <laughs> but we got the coffee, thank goodness. <laughs> Molly Cat. He's so cute, let me show you. Hi, girly. Hi. How are ya? Oh, I'm so happy to see you too. <laughs> Say your little string. Gimme. Gimme. Batoma. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a little aggressive and unnecessary. Come here, come here. Oh, I love you. Good girl. Wow, and suddenly it is 1 p.m. I don't understand how this happens during my days. Like, I swear they go so fast. I don't even realize that it's like past noon ever. Like most of the time I'm looking at the clock and I'm like, holy shit, it's 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. or sometimes even 3 p.m. I want to take some recycling out. So I want to open up these boxes that we got this morning from downstairs. That way I can take them out too. Okay, this first package is from It Cosmetics. Oh, this is sort of cute. It came in like a little fanny pack from Herschel. Very cute. And let's see what is inside. Ooh, fancy. Look at this, it's one of these slip pillowcase masks, I think. Yeah, face covering. <gasps> Love it. Also hilarious that like PR packages are sending masks now because that is our life, but check it out. You get the vibe, silk, so it's not as bad for your skin, which is amazing and um, much needed for 
you know, like everyone. And I do like they have like these little adjustable bead straps, so should be fairly easy to loosen that up. Awesome, and then of course stuff from actual It Cosmetics. Oh, brow product, I love that. One is called Brow Power, and one's called Brow Power Filler. It's awesome, because I'm always like trying to like use my benefit gimme brow like for way too long. <laughs> Barely is doing anything, so. Huge thank you to It Cosmetics, and also to Slip for the awesome face mask. Molly Cat, I need this. I know you're laying on it now, but it's mine. And then I just have a quick package here. There's nothing exciting at all. Tide Pods, wonderful. <laughs> Saw a lot of detergent, and so here we are. I don't know if it was always this way, but I do love that they have the child guard on here because kids were eating Tide Pods. I think it was probably always that way so that like babies can eat them, but the fact that like full teenagers <laughs> We're eating Tide Pods, hilarious. I guess this wouldn't really keep a teenager out anyway, in fairness. Let's see if it'll keep me out. I don't even know how to open shit like this. Oh, okay, got it. Wait, did I get it? Maybe I just closed it. Oh no, it's just a slide in. It's not actually unlocking anything. Oh, okay. Did that work? No, I can't get into the child lock. <laughs> oh, got it. We got it. I just don't understand why you would ever bite into this. But anyway, there we go. You can go deal with the recycling and then we will make some lunch. All right, we're just mixing up a little salad here. I put some leftover Trader Joe's vegan ground beef that I had in there, um, corn, chickpeas, and then just like the lettuce and stuff that comes with the salad kit here. Gotta give it a good little mixy. gonna add in a little bit of this Cleveland Kitchen roasted garlic salad dressing. It's vegan or at least dairy free. I'm actually not sure if it's totally vegan, but yeah, that's great. And of course, some sriracha. It is 4.30 now and I am done with work, which is amazing. That really early start definitely paid off for me, which is so nice. Uh, so I'm gonna get a really quick workout in now and then I have plans with my friend Kelly just on FaceTime. She lives in New Jersey, so <laughs> obviously not in person, but I wanna catch up with her and just sort of get caught up on our lives together. So I have to get this done really quickly because I also wanna wash my hair tonight. So I need like, you know, to move before she's done. She's on the East Coast, so obviously it's already much later there for her. For her. And I wanna make sure that we have enough time to hang out. Oh my God. Oh. All right, all showered, washed my hair. Now it's time to get on with my friend Kelly. Kev, hi. It's a few hours later now. I had a lovely FaceTime catch up with my friend Kelly. It was really good. And then I talked to Connor and his brother for a little while. It was sort of nice. It just sort of felt like I was just hanging out there with them, which was cool. Now I'm going to braid my hair and then probably get some dinner together pretty soon. But I thought I would tell you guys a couple tips I have for braiding your own hair, French braiding your own hair. I know that like, honestly, I'm not an expert at all. Sometimes mine look really messy and sometimes they look really good. It sort of depends on the day. So uh, this is definitely not a tutorial. I'm just showing you what I do and some like little tips that have helped me along the way, I guess. So I guess the first thing is that I like to put a little bit of product in my hair, especially when it's dry. It's, my hair is still a little bit damp right now, but for the most part, it's dried after my shower now. And I like having something sort of like wet in my hair because I feel like it holds the um, curl that I'm looking for a little bit better. So I'm just using a little bit of this Miss Jessie's Leave-In Condish, and I just sort of like warm it up between my hands and then work it in, especially towards the bottoms of my hair. And then I'll put a little bit on top, but the top is already curly. And what I'm really trying to do is make the curl stick to the bottom. So I sort of work that in. Like it, and my hair isn't wet, but it feels like a little sticky or something almost. Usually I wouldn't use as much, like if I just was trying to like moisturize my hair, but since I do want it to, you know, have an impact, that's what I do. And then from here, what I do is I just do like a little part down the back of my head 
I don't make it very exact or anything. Don't really care because I'm not really wearing this out of the house. This is just to get those curls in my hair. And then with the half that I'm not gonna braid yet, I just section it off so that it doesn't get in my way and I'm not pulling from the wrong side. So I obviously start by just brushing sort of my hair back like this. And then the first piece that I grab, I sort of like to think of it as a triangle. Uh, the three sides of the triangle being like one, two and then you connect those lines here and that's the hair that i grab obviously we split it up into three sections and you just start by braiding so what i like to do is i start by like pulling this piece over and then the piece that it crossed over i add more hair to right then grab a little chunk to add in there and again now i'm going to cross over this piece and since this one was crossed over i go ahead and add a little bit more to this Again, now we're crossing over, and now the piece that got crossed over, I add a little bit more to. And I just sort of continue with this pattern down back of my head, slowly adding in a couple more pieces. So obviously, as you get further back on your head, you really can't see what you're doing. So what I like to do at this point is I'll sort of hold all three pieces in one hand, that way I have a hand free, and I grab whatever hair still needs to be put into the braid and sort of pull it over to the side. That way I can get an idea of how much I have left and then pick up where I left off. Okay, and I think that will be all of it. And then what I do here is I sort of just continue braiding backwards like this. Like I don't pull it to the front yet. And I was doing that in the beginning and it was messing up my braid. So I try to pull it in this backward motion for as long as I can until my arms are not long enough to continue the braid. And once I sort of reach that point, then I flip it to the front and it helps to keep these pieces really tight. When you flip it to the front too soon, they get loose because you're like pulling the hair in a new direction that it's not used to. But once you're this far down the braid, like your hair really can't tell. And then I either use an elastic or like if I'm just sleeping in my braids, then I like to use a silk scrunchie. That way it's not causing breakage the end of my hair. It obviously looks sort of silly, which is why I use an elastic. Like if I was going out, I would switch this out to an elastic, but it is better for your hair to sleep in it that way. And then there you go. I really don't know what this looks like <laughs> to be completely honest. Hopefully it looks okay. So now I just repeat on this side. And then again, now that I'm sort of at the bottom, I'm just continuing with a normal braid. I just pull it backwards like this and just continue braiding as normal going back and then I just flip it to the front here so I can continue braiding. It sort of helped because I was having this issue where one braid would be really short and one would be really long and when I started braiding my hair that way where I like pull it backwards for a little while before I move it to the front it really resolved that problem. And there we go. We have two little French braids. I can feel this one's a little bit closer to the part than this one but that's okay because it doesn't matter to me because as I said, I just do it to sleep in. So there you go. I hope that was at least a little bit helpful. I don't really know if it was, but I hope so. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, see about dinner. Just finishing up the rest of my wine here and it is definitely dinner time. I have some leftovers so I don't even have to cook. It's amazing. My fridge is way too full, <laughs> um, but here we go. Crab fried rice, some delicious yellow curry. Gonna be the perfect meal. All right, I got a little refill on my wine. I only had a splash left, so I figured might as well finish it off. We have our crab fried rice, which I have way more of than I thought I did, so I'm very excited about that. Yellow curry, which I don't have enough of, but that's okay. <laughs> I brought out the heating pad for Molly, but she is like in a rambunctious mood, so I don't know if she's really gonna lay down on it, but it does feel nice, right? This was a grumpy face. She's so grumpy for some reason, I don't know. And here we are wrapping up season 14 of Grey's Anatomy. Last episode of the season, very exciting stuff. <laughs> I cannot tell you guys how much I love nights like this. Teeth brush, retainers in, and all before 11 p.m. It is 10.43, so pretty pleased with that. <laughs> I'm just going to watch YouTube videos and then go to bed, but thank you guys so much for watching today, and I will see you in the next one.